Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'm about to do race 8 of 36 of season 2. I'm here at the Talladega Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama, the biggest and baddest track in all of NASCAR for the running of the Aaron's 499. Last week, Texas Iron, my fifth win of the season. We come to Talladega where the Aaron's 499, or the first Talladega race in a season mode, is usually a total glitch fest. So, um,. See how this is going to go. Total Glitch Fest with a capital T. With a capital total G. No, I don't want stupid ass in Horton right now. Anyways, start this bad boy up. Let's go qualify. Coming down the back stretch into turn three. So far, we got a good lap going. Talladega is a place where there's no def definitive groove. You're going to see guys on the bottom, in the middle, on the top. Heck, you're going to see guys friggin' trying to fan out five wide in the trial will come toward the end of this thing. Coming through the trial. Let's see where, where this lap's going to bring us. Seventh. Work, we could saddle for seventh, or we could do a second lap. We're gonna do a second lap. <laughs> Talladega and Lincoln Park. Awesome. Bitches. Myra Mitch, sorry. <laughs> Coming through the trial. What this lap look this lap looks better. Here we go. Fifty Wow! We got a pull from that. Let's send it to MRN's Joe Moore and Barney Hall. Looks like uh, Joe Nemechek's got an alternate paint scheme for this race. He's got his um, Uncle Cracker paint scheme. This is back when Uncle Cracker was a uh, Limp Biscuit wannabe. Don't see any other alternate schemes I know of. Dale Jr. comes into this race with a 19-point point lead over me. 
Dale Jr. is a restricted plate king. So the goal is to keep him a away from someone to draft, to draft, try to draft with them. So, anyways, I think I saw another alternate car in there, but, oh well. Pace car is off. And looks like green flag in the air at Talladega for 18 laps around this gargantuan 2.66 mile super speedway. God, my commentating skills are as bad as Vince, Wel Vince Welch. Already onto the back stretch, and these cars are one going 180 into this corner. Takes a full lap for these babies to be brought up to full song. As the pack of 43 makes its way through turns three and four, here comes Jeff Gordon on the inside. Thinks better of it, goes to the top. But they are three by three by three through this field. They can't let let me get out too far because Bill Elliott could easily catch up to me. So we make our way down through turns one and two again. This race in other season modes, such as N2SE4Rs, can be a total glitch fest. Well, we got a... And here comes the Pied Piper at Daytona in Talladega with Junior and Gordon. With Dale Junior. And he's got Jeff Gordon and Mark Martin behind him on the third lane. Looks like Martin peels to the bottom. There's a three-car lane on the outside. Never mind, looks like Junior is going to try, might be trying to hang Gordon out. So we make our way through the trial. Let's go on board. Whoa. Whew. Didn't realize Junior was right there. Gordon to the bottom. He's going to hang Junior out to dry. Uh, it looks like, but he's but Rusty Wallace comes up on the outside to pick him up. Back to the top of the racetrack. Bill Elliott's pushing me this time. Gordon's in the middle lane, and Rusty's on the bottom. Now Bill Elliott comes to the bottom. What you got to do in these races? You got to block, block which lines are gonna are the quickest, or jump into the quickest line. Here comes Bill Elliott down on the inside, blocking him. Coming through the trial, past the Pepsi and Aaron's 499 sign, coming to the start finish line. Four laps into this thing. Wow. <laughs> Looks like everything's settled down, sort of. Everything's settled down because we got a distinct. Whoa, Gordon peeling out of line a little bit. And here comes Rusty Wallace down to the bottom. He might try to get a run. We're going to pit lap 8. And here comes Rusty Wallace with a huge run on the bottom. We go back to the top, block it, his momentum. Straight back to the bottom. Looks like Gordon's on the inside of Rusty, thinks better of it, of Rusty Wallace. As you can see, Rusty Wallace and Jeff Gordon trying to get, trying to take the lead, but Gordon, but I shut the dra shut Gord shut the door on Gordon. I'm driving like Chase Elliott did in the Talladega Spring Race, just swerving frequently left and right. Sometimes it's what you got to do at these places. Or if you get a good drafting partner like Rusty Wallace, you two can hook up and take off. Or just like in Season 1 when I hooked up with Jimmy Johnson and just disappeared virtually. I'm clearly triable. Right 
目が覚めたら、っていうのを見ながら。Coming through turns one and two. Look at that. Plus 40 for Rusty Wallace. The bro. Ma. My homie Rusty Wallace. Me and him have hooked up and we have taken off. Already low on fuel. Group of cars pitting. Already. So I'm going to pit next time by. Or whenever Rusty Wallace jumps off. Oh, he's coming off. Me and Rusty Wallace pit. Whoa! Contact! Rusty Wallace. No tires. No. Just go for fuel. Let's go for fuel this time. Let's take a gamble. Oh, caution's out. Oh, no. Come on. You can't mess up a fuel pit stop. Come on. Come on, boys. Caution's out on the front stretch. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, looks like one of the cars involved cruising by us. Oh, wow. Brett Bodine, Jeff Green got together here on Pit Road. Jeff Green's fuel cell. Wow. Hermes Sadler, David Green. So, the rack entering Pit Road. And we take the points lead over from Dale Earnhardt Jr. Let's see how this is going to go. Whoa. What is this? Someone's slow. Someone's slow up front. It's Ricky Craven. Got to get up on the track. Having to pass everybody below the yellow line. Didn't want to do that, but it looks like... What is this? Oh, my God. Looks like we... Um, either everyone parked has parked it in turn one, or there's a big wreck. And NASCAR hasn't waved the yellow. Both of these are highly plausible. By the way, both of these are very highly plausible. Either everyone's just cruising slowly on the bottom or on the apron just like in season one. Or I'm thinking theory A. Here, come to the start finish line. Looks like, oh, caution's out. What did I tell you? Second one of the afternoon. It's for Joe Nemechek sitting parked on the apron. Okay. And. Kurt Blanc. No, I'm not going to fucking pit. Fuck that. And it looks like. I'm not. Good thing I took fuel only on that stop. Because if I took fuel and tires, there's a good chance I'd be in that mosh pit of cars. And look at this. They're already trying to fan out two, three wide behind me. Mark Martin with a good draft with Sterling Marlin and Ricky Rudd. The old coots of the sport. Lined up. Christian Fittipaldi with a second lane on the inside. Three wide behind me. Christian Fittipaldi could even be a threat. Heck, Kevin Grubb could win this thing. So far, they're single file through uh, about a third of the field. It is Whoa, car's pushing up. And they're pitting. Crap. Oh, well. I'll just take uh, half a gallon and no tires. Half a gallon of fuel. Due to green flag pit stops, Jeremy Mayfield has cir circulated to the lead. Coming down the back stretch. Two, three, and four. And it looks like 
I'm going to peel off with Matt Kenseth, Kevin Harvick. Whoa. Left sides. And the caution is out right when it come on to pit road. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Let me guess. Another wreck. Told you this race was going to be a glitch fest. But what's the debris? Might be from that wreck. Coming out of pit road. Half, half a can of fuel. I think it might be good for if we get a last lap restart. Debris on pit road. It looks like it's off of Ashton Lewis in the 11. Yep, that's him. Let's go. And we are not going to get another restart, but I win the Aaron's 499 under caution. Like a bouse. <laughs> Kyle Petty, 10th. Christian Fittipaldi, 3rd. My God. Not as bad as I expected it. It to be, you know, with it being the glitch fest and all, but, whoo, that top 10 though. Oh, that was the contact with Rusty Wall, so I couldn't stop. So, uh, this is my sixth win of the season. And then I come back and... Third straight win. That's... Huh. Weird. How about this for my sixth win? Under caution at Talladega. Huh. Never thought it was the caution game. Minus 18 for Mike Skinner. Minus 40 for Ward Burton. None for Jeremy Mayfield. None for Rusty. And plus 14 for Rusty Wallace. So, I win the... Win today is Aaron's 499. Sterling Marlin finishes second. Christian Fittipaldi finishes third. Robbie Gordon finishes fourth. Mark Martin fifth. Ricky Rudd sixth. Jack Sprague seventh. Jack Sprague in seventh. Terry Labonte eighth. Greg Biffle ninth. And good God, Kyle Petty's in tenth. Stanton Barrett twelfth. Kevin Grubb thirteenth. Kevin LePage and Ashton Lewis still finish in the top 20? Even though Ashton Lewis... Oh my god. Junior's 19th, so I'm definitely going to come out here with a points lead. Kurt Busch ends up 20th. Let's see where the good guys finish. Tony Stewart ends up 29th. Joe Nemechek 30th, even though he parked it mid-race. Wow. He must be God or something. Jeff Gordon ends up 35th. Wow. Kevin Harvick and Jimmy Johnson. 37th and 38th. Jeff Green falling out of this race after 5 laps, surprisingly. As far as there wasn't a freaking asteroid hitting this track mid-race or some other crazy shit. Wow. That's pretty much all I can say. Hey, look, Thunderplate already unlocked. So the next race is going to be at Martinsville Speedway for the running of the Virginia 500 for race 9 to 36. We will see you then. I think I pretty much know I'm going to be the points leader. Good God.
Oh, Jesus Christ, just save already. Oh, there we go. Let's check the points. 60 point lead over Dale Earnhardt Jr. So it looks like me and Jr. are going to be the front two point men. With Martin in third, Johnson fourth, Gordon fifth, Newman sixth, Marlon seventh, Rusty Wallace eighth, Kurt Busch ninth, and Bobby Labonte tenth. Driver respects, yada yada yada. I get the Pole Warden Front Gatorade Front Runner Awards. Pole Award, yada yada yada. I'm already killing it. 151 laps for E8 for my the lap championship thing. I'm a boss. Top of my is up. Stay on my monopoly board. That means one top of my game. But it don't stop for me. It don't hop anymore. So good. You take it. You can clear you the whole shit to a lot. You take it. You spin. You can't drool it. You can drop it. You know. 